So guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my healthy and highly nutritious Zobo drink. Guys, I love this drink so much, not only because it is a natural drink, but because it is packed with a whole lot of health benefits. Guys, this drink helps manage high blood pressure, it helps lower cholesterol, and the good thing is that it helps promote weight loss. So guys, let's get right into it. Let me show you the ingredients I'm going to Zobo drink, guys. I'm going to be using these dried Zobo leaves. Yes, I'm going to be using ginger. I love ginger a lot. That is why I'm using so much. But if you know you're not a fan of ginger like I am, you can reduce it. I'm going to be using some oranges, pineapple, some dates. Yes, guys, this is going to serve as my sugar. And then for some flavor, I'm going to be adding this cucumber. I'm going to start by washing my zobo leaves. This I do by putting them in a bowl of water so that the sand can settle at the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to let it soak for two seconds and remove it and put it in the pot. Next, I'm going to be adding water. You can add any amount of water you like, but I like to fill up my pot. Now, I'm going to be cutting my cucumber into thin slices. I'm just going to throw it in. Next, I'm cutting my pineapple. Guys, I'm going to be using every part of this pineapple, both the back and the pineapple itself, so nothing is going to waste. So I'm going to throw in the back. Next, I'm cutting the pineapple itself into large chunks. I'm going to throw that in as well. Next, I'm going to be cutting my oranges into quarters and I'm removing the seeds here. If I leave the seed, it's going to give my zobo a, a bitter taste and that is not what I want. I'm removing the back as well because I want the whole sweetness. Please be patient guys and remove all the seeds. Now I'm removing the back of my ginger. You can actually cook it with the back after washing it thoroughly. But I prefer to remove the back of mine because I'm going to be blending it later on. Now I'm going to start cutting my ginger into tiny, tiny bits. And I'm going to throw that in. Yes, now my zobo is ready to start cooking. I'm giving it a really good stir so that everything can combine well. Look how rich it is. The pineapples, oranges, cucumbers. 
now i'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for 30 minutes i'm going to come back and check on it later while i'm waiting for my zobo to cook i'm going to start prepping my dates guys this is a natural sweetener and it has a ton of health benefits as well these dates help fight anemia prevent heart diseases improve digestion and boost libido what i'm doing here is i'm just removing the seeds please if you're going to be using a knife like i'm doing just be very careful so you don't cut yourself After removing the seeds, I'm just going to put them in a blender. Now I'm adding water. Please ensure to add enough water so that it can blend well and release all its sweetness. Now my Zobo is ready. I'm just going to off the light now. So what I'm going to do now is to start taking out my pineapple chunks, the oranges and my ginger of course. I'm just going to put them in a blender. It's still hot. And I'm going to blend it into a puree. It looks like smoothie. Now I'm going to start sieving my zobo. You can actually allow yours to cool down very well before you start sieving. This is the date juice. Now I'm just pressing down to get every juice out of the zobo leaves. I'm adding my dates right now. I'm going to press down as well. It's actually best to use a sieve cloth. Now I'm going to be adding the fruit puree. Pineapple, orange and ginger into the zobo like i said it's always best to use a a sieve cloth but i'm using this because the fruit puree is still hot now i'm going to start pressing down so that all the juices can come out just trying to bring out all the juice now my zobo is ready guys you can actually put them in plastic containers and store in your fridge for up to seven days or in your freezer for up to two or three months it is best served cold this drink is super refreshing and it is so delicious guys this is what i love to have on very hot days when i am craving fizzy drinks okay loves 
please let me know in the comment section what you think of my Zobo recipe and if you're going to be trying it out. Kindly give me a thumbs up on this video and turn on your notification bell. You do not want to miss any of my videos. Okay, beautiful people, I'll be seeing you all in my next video. Bye!